What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are going down, we're gonna go for a ride in the 4.0. In today's video, I need you guys input. What do we think? Do we keep it? Do we sell it? It falls into your guys' hands. So I'm gonna catch you guys in the head cam in just one second. All right guys, back on the head cam here. So the topic of today, do we keep her or do we sell her? So, a little backstory for those that are maybe new to the channel. Welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you smash that like button because we need it. We are growing and also we're getting close. It's almost at the deadline. But if we hit 750 subscribers by or before January 1st, which is what, like six days away, five days away, man, we're going to need like 10 subs a day, which is a heavy feat, but you never. You never know in the world of YouTube. So I'll be giving away a hundred bucks if we hit that. But anyways, we got tons of cool content coming for all the new guys here. But again, back to the topic. So this was the first car I ever bought on my own at the age of 18. My good old trusty 4.0 Mustang, the V6. Absolutely adore this car. Um, got a bone stock and have done quite a bit to it aesthetically, but performance wise, we are as stock as can be besides an axle back. Now, I recently got a job and I have been surviving the past two and a half years off my sole income of doing freelance and I'm continuing to do that as well. So with this additional income now, I have quite a bit of wiggle room and with, with what I can and can't do. Whereas before it was kind of a stretch, now I really can do what I like. So I guess what I'm trying to hint at here is like, I can get into another car tomorrow if I wanted to. And I'm torn on what to do because I love this car. Obviously, like this car's been paid off. Like I don't owe a penny on it. The only thing I pay for every month is insurance, gas, and all like the other stuff. Whereas if I were to get a new car, I would obviously finance it. So what do you guys think? Do you guys like the 4.0 on the channel? I know we have some loyal 4.0 owners in here that I see you guys commenting. Y'all are the real ones. Or do you guys want to see you know, a new car to the channel? So I've done a poll, I believe on the 19th, and it started out where is the S550 Mustang GT. That one was number one. That one was far ahead of everyone else. I just checked it back this morning. Wow, did it change. Guys, number one coming in at 46% out of the four options was the 11 to 14 GT, which is awesome because that's the one I really wanted. So when I saw the S550s, I love the S550 platform. Do not get me wrong, but I think the styling, especially the 13, 14, even the 11, 12s look good. But man, that body style is my favorite. Um, so when I saw that 46% of the votes were going towards that, I was ecstatic to say the least. So if this car does go, it will be replaced by another car, another content car. Um, in second place, I believe at 26% was a stance slash JDM build. So something a little different. If I went down that route, odds are I'd probably keep this car as a daily because I do not really want to stance car as a daily. Too many headaches there because I would most likely be going static and I have had friends with lots of static cars and I don't want to deal with that on a daily commute. So I'm in a pickle. This is one of the few channels I think on YouTube that really pushes out frequent content on the 4.0. Um, a lot of them, you know, it's kind of a video here and there. It's nothing, you know, very common. Totally sidetrack. This is a wide body stinger that I drove by. It sounds like terrible. I mean, it sounds horrible, but it looks so good. I was curious where it was and there she is. It looks killer, but it sounds just like trash, man. That thing, I don't know what exhaust they have on there, but that has got to go. That looks fire. All right, back on track. Um, yeah, guys, so I really need your input, man. I really, really need to know what you guys want to see because at the end of the day, we're getting closer and closer to that 1,000. Um, we're still lacking in the watch hours quite a bit, so I'm a, I have a strong feeling we're going to hit 1,000 followers, or I'm sorry, 1,000 subscribers before we hit the you know 4,000 watch hours. But either way, I have the income now where I can really kind of do what I please in terms of the next car, and I don't know what to do. So, scenario, if we keep the 4.0, then, like, I don't know what more I want to do with this. I know I had previously talked about potentially boosting the car, but, like, I have the Cobra, so why would I want to boost this? Like, this car has been so darn reliable, I don't really want to go against that and cause issues. But at the same time, I, 
like I don't want to bag it because it's a daily like I would never build this into like a show car so I'm, I'm just at a crossroad guys I'm really torn here whereas if I get a coyote you know the goal would be just to be a really nice daily um, I'd probably get these wheels um, powder coated in a different color depending on the color of the car um, suspension maybe a blower down the road I don't know I mean I'm getting way ahead of myself here but I don't know if I keep this car then more of the attention will go towards the Cobra. But then I'm at the same crossroads there where it's like I finally have that car running the way it needs to. It has been flawless. So do I really want to possibly risk, you know, taking that thing to the extreme and running into issues? Now, that's where you guys come into play. I'm really, you know, it's a 50-50, it's a toss up. I can go either way. Um, if I do keep this car, I will, I'll come up with some other things because the car's not done. Maybe we can start tinkering with some performance stuff. Again, in my most humble of opinion, I don't think this platform's worth putting money into performance unless you go straight to boost. And even that is questionable for the cost, but you never know. Um, the whole goal here is to be you know, content oriented. Um, so I could keep this and then buy a daily. So maybe I get a truck or something. I don't really need two trucks, but you know, as you, if you guys have seen my fiance <clears throat> has a lifted, 2017 Silverado so it's kind of like eh. so if we keep this we get a daily and we keep the Cobra but then <laughs> you guys see my predicament here is I don't really need to keep this if I get another vehicle because if I get a daily that's what this is and if I'm I'm not gonna go home and have to pick between this and the Cobra to drive because we all know what we're gonna pick the Cobra so yeah guys sorry about all the rambling there but I'm trying to give you my perspective here so you know, take that insight I gave you and let me know what you guys think. Do we keep her? Do we sell her? Do What do we do? I'd love to hear in the comments. So yes, guys, thank you so much for tuning into today's video. I appreciate all you. Hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas weekend. I know for me, it's been super hectic, but it was good to catch up with family and whatnot. But nonetheless, love all you guys and I will catch you in Wednesday. Later, family.